All right, the uh, bow and quiver are way too big. And uh, I've come to the realize, realization of that over the weekend. So I'm going to redo the uh, bow and quiver, but I don't think I'm going to be videoing it much. Only because I don't want to have to set up the uh, camera angles. That just takes forever. I want to just get it get done and redo it and not worry about uh, the camera angles. So I'll be right back. Time to play with some play. All right, I'm going to take the uh, current quiver off. I'm going to hold on to it. It's it's a good quiver. I might use it another time. But it's just too big for this uh, project. The strap was too big, too. All right. I made it too complicated last time, and I got carried away with it. And I'm going to uncomplicate it this time. Hopefully. I will show a little bit of it. I'm not going to keep you guys in the dark as to what I'm doing here. I got this quiver for the uh, bow way too thick. If you uh, look at the quiver in this photograph, it's a lot thinner. And the bow, bow quiver is good, but this is just too thick. A thin. <laughs> so I'm going to remove the bow. The problem is I attached it too well. Okay, so I've already got the uh, bow and arrows ready to go. All right. All I need to do is redo that quiver. Let me just see. That looks good. Okay, I'm just going to smooth out the uh, clay just a little bit. I went about a third thinner than I had. And now I just need to shape it. Got the bow and quiver bow quiver finished now i need to anchor it to the uh, arrow quiver oh that's the bow quiver that i'm messing with <laughs> what did i do with the bow quiver oh there it is i oh, pretty well messed that up didn't i yeah it's okay i'll make it up All right, I'm going to put it right where it's supposed to be. Right there. Now what this is, is the armature for the uh, fringe that I'm gonna put on the back end. Now, what I'm gonna do is I need to get this clay just a little softer. All right, what I'm doing is I'm welding this bow 
quiver to the uh, scabbard. This part will be aimed towards the back of the uh, warrior so it won't be seen. it in to the clay. Now, I gotta put the fringe on. First, I'm gonna put uh, the straps for the uh, bow. Oh, I gotta get another tool. Shorten that a little bit. There we go. Now I gotta line it up with the uh, other end of the strap. Now I gotta do the fringe on that end. Okay, I'll just put the uh, tip of the part that's gonna go onto the bottom into the fire to kind of soften it up so it'll adhere. To the uh, bottom of the uh, bow case.
the wind is blowing the grass and so I'm kind of kind of reflect that on the uh, fringe at the bottom of the uh, bow case. All right, I'm going to start uh, putting paint on the uh, Super Sculpty. All right, I've got the bow done. I still think that might be a little too long, but that won't be a big problem. When I get ready to uh, finish this thing, I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just clip the end off right about there, I think. Although the bow, I'm gonna check some photographs and illustrations of uh, authentic uh, warriors riding with a bow quiver on their back and just see how it looks. If it looks really obviously wrong, then I will change it one more time. This is all I'm gonna have time to do today. The fringe is ready to go. Uh, just That's gonna be for the shirt, but I've gotta do some texturing on the shirt before I can add the uh, fringe. I have detailing to do on his sleeve and his hand and uh, all that, but I can do that after I put the fringe on. I wanna see how much of the fringe is gonna cover. And uh, I'm only gonna have the fringe on his shoulder and uh, along the uh, edge of the uh, beadwork that's on his shirt. I was gonna have the uh, ground for the horse going out to about the end of this board but I kind of like the kind of pedestal type uh, design of this uh, base the way it is. And uh, I'm gonna try some different ways of making grass uh, that won't cost a fortune to cast. And uh, I'll use this grass as base for what I'm gonna do next. <coughs> All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time, which is tomorrow. <laughs> if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.